here we are in the glorious surroundings of the glorious Mr. H. We've just been having a chat there about um, the cashless society. Apparently, we've just been reading that Denmark is moving very close towards having a cashless society. And as of next year, they're pushing it forward even further. I personally don't think it's very healthy for the people to have a cashless society because then the government has full control over you and your finances. Yeah. Yeah, over to you Mr H, have you any thoughts on that? Well like you've just said, they've got that, they can, see they can shut you off like a tap. But also there's the, there's the thing of the, the fraud, I mean if you go abroad, if you travel abroad Somebody could get could, could hack into your, your account and you'd end up with no money. Well, there's not only that. How many times have you been to a cash point and your fucking card doesn't work? Yeah. Or, or it eats it. Something like that. <clears throat> you you break down in the middle of nowhere. You've no money. There was also a thing I saw on David Ike. A point he raised were how they'd work it. You'd go to Morrison's for your loaf and your milk. You'd whap your card in and then they just come up screen, sorry, you owe Wonga £500, you owe such a body money, you can't have this. Yeah. You know, basically also, if you're a subversive, basically, the system, they could, t they could seize your money, they yeah. could just switch you off, basically, you know. It's, um, I, think it, I think when that happens, it's, it's another step of the new world order. The claw of it, you know, gaining ground, and you know, yeah. it, it, I find it very frightening that people want a cashless society, a world where you can just swipe your smartphone and pay for things like that. Is it the last, the, the most recent iPhone? You could pay for things by your thumbprint, which is all very well, but <laughs> what's stopping? some fucking rather ruthless chap lobbing your thumb off yeah. and then going round with your thumb on his key ring buying fucking everything yeah you know you would see that wouldn't you theoretically you could it's just it, it, you know I, it's very I find it all very very frightening you know uh, that, that no one's bothered about and but it they, they market it to you as, 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 as it's the best thing since last fucking bread. Yeah, it's good for you. But it's not. It, 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 it's just more control for the man when you when you've not got a painful when you've not got pocket money in your pocket, you know. So, what's your thoughts? Um, e so like, I'm going to say like Richard and fucking GD now. We have an email address now, us. It's firethsadthoughts at gmail.com So if you want to uh, make a video or if you have any topics, topics that are not too fucking silly um, we'll, we'll give it a consideration uh, Tell your people and your friends to subscribe and share these videos Because we're very desperate middle-aged men who need love um, Thank you very much